is. Well, Pokemon Go is barely a week old now, but the smartphone game has taken the world by storm. It's also taken players to some rather odd places in search of battles. In Mount Healthy, one of those places is one man's grave. And as Local 12's Brad Underwood shows us, the family is loving it. At the graveside of Zachary Henserling sits a sign of notice to all Pokemon Go players. You are welcome to play here. He had the bed sheets, he had the clock, he had all the cards. He was Pokemon, you know. Pikachu was his favorite. Henserling died after an industrial explosion at Environmental Enterprises in 2012. He was just 20 years old. The tragedy is heading to court in August, but this week, as the world is immersed in Pokemon, the Henserling family is thrilled by this action. They came out here to the cemetery looking around and uh, doing the Pokemon thing. and They couldn't find his grave and Jen was like, Zach's cousin, she was like, oh, well, let's, let's go to this gym. Wouldn't it be weird if that's where his grave was? And lo and behold, the gym was right on top of his grave marker. I think it's pretty cool. I had to come get a picture of it. Marshall Adams is just one of the Pokemon Go players that stopped by the Arlington Memorial Garden Cemetery to snap a photo and battle other Pokemon goers at Henserling's headstone. It's neat. And how'd you do? I actually won. <laughs> actually, I couldn't believe I won, but I actually won. I beat all three of them, so I actually did pretty good there. To some, it may seem a little morbid, playing Pokemon at someone's grave. But to the family, it's a much needed uplifting. It's surreal. It, it makes me feel like he's still around and he's thinking of me and, you know, he's, he's still there. Henserling says he encourages all who play to play safe and to be respectful. In Mount Healthy, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Henserling's supervisor and company manager go to trial in August.